What's going on, friends? It is Clever Trev, and I'm back with a little dream stream. And uh, we're going to do a pretty simple creation here of making a guitar tuner. Something that if you need to tune your guitar, you can open this up and you'll be able to follow it and you can tune your guitar in standard tuning E A D G B E. Um, and I found this cool, beautiful acoustic guitar made by Toxic Zad, so shout out to them. So that's the guitar we're using. <clears throat> but everything else we're going to do on our own. And I did uh, modify it a little bit. I just kind of made this top E string a little bit bigger, and I made this bottom E string a little bit smaller, and I just kind of made the scale a little bit more obvious. Um, but essentially, this is kind of the view, like right here. This will be the view. And uh, it'll just kind of start with E, and it'll make the E noise, you know, doom, doom. And then it'll go to the A, doom. Ding, 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 ding. So eventually all the way up to E. It'll be about a minute and 40 seconds long because that's all it should take. And um, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do back in edit mode is let's just get a camera set up to kind of uh, just get a vibe for uh, our current viewpoint. And something like right about... There, this would be a good start. So if we go back to play, it's kind of locked here. And I always like to get rid of the imp controls right away. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to get right into it with um, importing the audio. So obviously we need some kind of audio. And I could go into the Dreams stuff and make use the actual Dreams um, creation, but I'm just going to use some pre-existing audio to save some time and it's an actual guitar. Um, and if you're curious how I import audio, go. I have another tutorial on my channel of how to import audio into Dreams using your phone. And it essentially requires a special cord that I plug into my phone and I plug my phone into my controller instead of my headset. And I'm going to do that right now. Well, let's get this set up first. Uh, let's get um, We're going to go to modes sound mode and we're going to put a music timeline up here just put it up here open it up that oh, doesn't matter yet oh, let's keep it open um, and then we're going to go to tools and we're going to do sound recorder and now once i once i put this down it's going to start recording the audio um, from my phone so before that i'm going to unplug my headset plug in my phone play the auto audio and record and it's about a minute 40 so it'll take about two minutes for me to record this and then I'll be back with my audio but um, for now you'll have to listen to my phone play hopefully it's a clean um, recording so here we go let's get everything set up here all right I'll be back
So let's hope that worked. Let's just play it back. Um. Oh, there we go. Let's get this timeline going. And I'm pretty sure it restarts here. We can just cut all that. Yep. So we're going to cut all this off. So it plays eight of each note, I bet. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yep. G, G. Okay. So that sounds pretty clean. I like it. I guess we should maybe listen to the whole thing, but whatever. Um, so now, obviously, if we go to play mode, it's playing our music. But what else do we need? Well, we need to indicate which string is being played, the name of the string. So we're going to do that next. Um, so we're going to go to our gadgets. And we're going to go to output. And we're going to go to text display. And I think we'll label the strings first. So we're going to do... This is going to take a second, but E... You'll see where I'm getting here in a sec. A. <laughs> I wish there was a way to just hit enter. Maybe there is. Hopefully they can add that. D. So I'm going through the, the, the notes. A, D, G. And then it'll be B and E. Boom, 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 boom. B, E, then it'll be... Alright, and then we can just throw that here. Might as well make it part of the scene in case we change the view, so... Do that. And before we try to line it up, let's um, let's just find a good text. First of all, we're going to make this text white. And uh, the platypus party, hello. What's going on, my friend? Cool name, I like that. I don't know, I don't know why. Welcome to the platypus party. So let's label these strings real quick. Find a good text. Something that's easy to read. That one does look pretty. Eh, let's make it a little more simple. We already passed a few good ones, but I like to kind of look at my options. There we go. Let's stick with that for now. You new to dreams? Well, you are in luck, because this, this is probably my, my favorite game now. After everything I've played through, all the games I've played throughout my life, this might be my favorite game. Um, and man, I've been working on a lot of stuff, I'll tell you what. Um, what's your uh, gamer tag? I'll give you a follow. I'm Spiders. Just making a little guitar tuner right now. Okay, so we gotta move this over. And, um, I'd love to... St. Elijah, oh, you're a little Twitch streamer, huh? I can check you out on Twitch too if that's what you do. St. Elijah's TTV. Yeah, let's give you a look right now, buddy. I just kind of started the. I mean, I should just make this guitar. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen my stuff. 
Um, let's look at it real quick. Let's see. It's always kind of weird to do this. Um, dreamers, this is where you go. What kind? What are you into? Are you into the music stuff? Are you into the animations? The modeling? Oh, you haven't done anything yet. Okay. Well, let me know if there's anything you want me to show. We are whatever. There you are. We'll give you a follow. <clears throat> Hi. By the way, if you want to do one first lesson. If you want to do stuff like a heart or something, you could do, you do this little triangle thing here. And then I could do something like UI heart. And then in the right triangle thing, and it makes a heart. There's like hundreds of those that you can do. So check that out. Happy Hammer Dream and Jurassic Park. Okay. Um, I could do a quick little brief recap of what I got. So. This is unreleased, if you want to see something that nobody has got to see yet. Um, so it's called the figure skater, I'll change the name. I get pretty distracted when I stream. So this is my voice. Oh, I didn't update this, shit. Whatever, this is the old audio. I did some new, I did a new dub last night. It was a lot better. Yep, I made this. I've been playing Dreams since it first was available on the Creator Beta like a year ago. Um, a lot of this, I made a lot of these surfaces like metallic and then I put my own lights in there. So we're going to hit X and start it. But yeah, I made these custom loading screens. There's not actually a loading screen, I just made it look like a loading screen. But yeah, I did a lot of custom custom animations. There's, um, you know, you can take a character and record their possession. Like right here, I recorded that. But yeah, this is the game here that I'm working on. You know, R2, L2, L1, R1, X is jump, triangle, square. But yeah, you just kind of do a little cute routine. You can spin around and... It's not really any point to it yet. The score combo is kind of fake, but... But anyway, um, I could go on and on. You know, that's just my most recent project. I got other, a lot of other cool stuff. If you go to my collection here, this is all the these are all the things that I've made. Like, uh, if you like Shadow of the Colossus, here's a cool Shadow of the Colossus level. And there I got, you know, all. This one I got third place in the Community Jam. Every two weeks there's a different Community Jam. Bound on PS4? Yes, I have. Which actually, now that you mentioned that, is, and speaking of Bound, this is kind of similar too, where there's dancing. Yeah, I actually have PlayStation VR, and Bound was free for the VR or something, so that's when I played it. But here's another one I with a little dancer. But this I actually won third place in uh, the competition. There was a, a theater community jam, and people vote on them, and I got like, third place. Pretty proud of that. But anyways, I got to get back to the guitar tuner, but I have a lot of different stuff that you could check out. Skate park. Alright, last thing I'll show you. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, that's... One thing I'm really looking forward to is uh, once they add VR support, dude, like... A lot, of the, a lot of the creations that I make are with VR in mind, because I know eventually when they do add VR, like, for example, this one will be a really nice one in VR... Because it's really relaxing. It'll be like if you're looking for just a chill experience in VR where you can just chill. You could just sit on this boat here and just kind of slowly drift through. And it's got my original music that I recorded. Yeah, check them out. I'm, and I'm always open to uh, feedback and constructive criticism. And if you ever want some help with anything, just hit me up. Happy to help. 
So yeah, this is one of those things where if you had a headset and you could just chill on this little boat, wouldn't that be nice? All right, anyway, back to the guitar tuner. All right, so where were we? Oh yeah, okay, so let's just play this. Yeah, any questions you got, just shoot them out and I'll, I'll help you out. Do you know if the game will have online co-op? Oh, it sure will, yep. Yep, they're going to add... I mean, it's basically going to add... Well, there's a few things cooperatively. They're going to add cooperative creation, so you could be... I could be doing this, and you could be doing this at the same time. We could be, like, editing the same thing at the same time. And also, they're going to add multiplayer, so you could make it versus, you could make it cooperative. On release day, I'm not sure. I don't think so, unfortunately. I think... I forget what, like, you'd have to look it up, but let's line this up just like that. Yeah, I'm not sure of the specifics, though. There we go. This will be perfect. Boom. Check that out. Actually, almost perfect. Yep, it'll have the campaign, it'll have... Ah, oh shit, it'll have more tutorials, I think. But that might be about it. Like, there's no PSVR, I don't think there's multiplayer, I don't think there's the co-op yet. But I'm... It's such an amazing game, I'm perfectly fine giving them time to make it perfect. And one little cool tip here, if you go to Tools and you go to Sculpture Detail, you can increase the detail of stuff. So I'm gonna just jack up a bunch of stuff because because this is going to be a such a simple creation we can afford to make everything look much better because it's going to be a very there's not going to be a whole lot of stuff going on besides a little bit of audio and this guitar so we can just i'm just jacking up everything the more red it turns the more uh the more memory it takes up and you can do vice versa if you run out of memory you can turn that down I'm excited for co-op. Do you think the campaign will have local co-op? I don't know. That's a good question. God damn, I hope so. And I mean, as cool as the campaign will be, I don't even really care a whole lot because there's so much other stuff to play. to do it but as cool as this is here I'm gonna delete it because it's gonna get in the way of our our plan here what's this there we go um, have I played the happy hammer dream mm, doesn't sound familiar um, I'll check it out in a little bit here. Let me get a little bit further. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ha have a big letter right here. It'll start with a big E while we play E. Eventually it'll turn to A. Eventually it'll turn to D, G, B, E. So it'll go along with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go by our timeline here. And we're going to go to our movers and output and go to our text displayer. And we're just going to slap one down on the timeline here. And let's put E. Oops. And I always like to get the text white. Turn off the oh, the box. Turn off the border. And then we're gonna move this. Hmm. We're gonna have to make this. Yeah. We're gonna make this global as well. Put that E up here. Kind of just filling in the sound hole. So we go back to play. It doesn't work. What the hell did I do wrong? Ok. 
Okay, why isn't that working? Oh, now it is. I must not have rewound. Crimson Fang, hey, what's up, man? Thanks for popping in. Or lad. lad. It's a cool name. Crimson Fang and Platypus Party. I feel like you guys got some cool names going on here. Okay, so we're gonna... Now, as I mentioned earlier, each note they play it eight times, so we can actually just go here and count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like that. And once we get the right text, so let's change our text to something that we like. Platypus Party, do you have a le favorite level in Dreams? Ooh. That's a good question. Let me think. Um, favorite level in Dreams. I'll admit I spend a lot of time creating. Like, I definitely spend more time creating than playing. Probably 20 times as much, if not more. Hmm. There we go. Maybe go with a little something like that. Do we like that text? Eh, a little too flashy. I mean, it's not flashy, but... There we go. That's better. Let's get it a little closer to the strings. Centered up. How do you add legs to your imp? It should be under customization. Well, um, there's tons of different imps that you unlock. So the imp I have is like a spider imp. When you first start, you just kind of have a crappy imp. So once this switches to A, it should go away. Yep. So we'll, we're gonna be e it's gonna be very easy to just duplicate that E because we have the E. We can make it into the A D G B E. Um, but just to answer your question really quick, there, platypus, my friend. Um, if you go to where would it be? So spiders. Oh, here you go. So you go to customize my imp over to the left. And you have tons of different imps that it can use. So you can select any of these dumb things. And you unlock new ones. You can randomize them. You know, I could do imp surprise, and there's just new imps. But, you know, I'm... My gamer tag is spiders, so obviously I gotta go with the spiders. And I like spiders and all that jazz. So, that's how. Anyway. And, uh, Crimson Fang... Are you a dreamer? What's up, man? You want me to give you a follow? You got anything you want me to show? Want me to play? Thanks for coming in here, by the way. Okay, so next step is just we can take this is E here, and now we're gonna copy and paste it, and we're gonna put it right about there. Let's move this back a little bit. So now, if we play, it'll be playing the E, and watch it'll change. But I gotta change it to A, obviously. <laughs> that might help. And honestly, we can just do this. Let's just do it now. Because there's eight of each. I like the spider imp. Yeah, me too. Your green imp is a little too happy. Do not have dreams yet, but I did pre order waiting for the release. Oh, man. I've, I've had a lot of people come into my streams lately saying that same thing. And man, I, I kind of feel bad because just having to watch people play it. It's got to be tough, but at the same time, I'm sure you could learn a lot just by watching. Um, so hopefully maybe you learn a thing or two. You know, I try to go in pretty detail of what I'm doing, even though I go pretty fast. But Okay, so we're going to count eight of the A's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I had a good guess. Actually, it'll be perfect. Eight of those. Oops. A, now we got D next. Whatever, that's fine. D. Let's change this to D. And then we're going to have so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't even really need to count them at this point, but might as well. 
so EAD, now we're on a G. Any of you guys play guitar, by the way? Any instruments, musicians, or any experience in uh, Photoshop? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, we're getting kind of close. EAD, G, B. Crimson says, yeah, it helps a bit, so when you do get the game, I won't probably buy it. I know anything about it, yeah. You wish you had more music when you are younger, Platypus? See, I grew up, like, my family, I was in music my whole life, so music really makes sense to me. You like to learn how to dance? <laughs> hey, whatever one you jam to, you can dance. You can dance if you want to. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got one more string left, which is we're back to the E string. And by the way, if you want to learn guitar, man, you can do it. You just got to just gotta go for it. I learned, my cousin gave me a guitar, and I just went on Google, and I Googled how to play guitar, and now I know how to play guitar. All right, there we go. So we got that is pretty much good to go. And we can even put this on... Let's put this on repeat, or not, not loop, stain, shit, I don't know, whatever, we'll figure that out later. Here we go, check it out guys. Oh, okay, you didn't discover, discover the music you liked until high, sc high school? Yeah, I mean, I was pretty sheltered, you know, I was in a very religious family, so all I knew was religious music. Oh, check it out. It's working. We're on to A. We'll play through this whole thing here, but after this, we're going to start marking the strings. So yeah, the, the, the letters are coming up at the right time now, but we need to show what string you should be playing. You know, we're on the D string. Well, I guess it does show on the left, kind of, but we're going to do a little bit more. We're going to highlight some stuff. Ooh, what do we do? What do, we do, what do, we do? So, there's a few things we'll do. Do you just YouTube videos of dreams or just live live streams? Um, I do do a lot of YouTube tutorials. Uh, lately, I stream. I've been streaming a lot, but if you look on my channel under like tutorials, there's plenty of like shorter videos where I'll just do a tutorial. But I do a lot of other stuff on YouTube. I I do like live music, and I'm a, I'm an artist, so I do I do watercolor paintings and acrylic paintings. Um, Hopefully soon we'll be I'll be doing some live music streams with my buddy who plays drums. Um, so plenty of different stuff. There we go. So that worked exactly what we were hoping for. But that's what's amazing about dreams is the more you get to the more familiar you get with it, you can have an idea and you you can know exactly what to do and you just you just make it happen. And the dreams is a perfect title for it because I literally dream of dreams. I'll just I have dreams of dreams. It's it's pretty crazy. Um. So platypus, you just started doing dreams videos, but I don't know how much and don't know many views, so I'm trying to learn more. Yeah. And there's a lot of things that go with that. Um, the little things like having the right tags, having a good screenshot. And it, it takes time, you know, like I have, what, 670-something subscribers, but my channel is like 10 years old. So if you stream videos of dreams and then split up the stream in shorter bits of content for those that can't watch a full stream, yeah, I would, yeah, I would do that if I had the resources to do that, but um, it's kind of hard you know, I just stream through the PlayStation, so it's not, you know, if I was streaming through my PC and I could capture video like that, but personally, I either like to stream or I like to do tutorial, one or the other, but yeah, I totally know what you're saying. I know some other YouTubers do that, where they'll cut parts of their streams out, and I should do just more, less streams and more tutorials, but I don't know, usually I'm just bored at night and Everybody I know is in bed, so I might as well stream. <laughs> okay, well, real quick, we're gonna. This camera needs to go a little bit there. Center everything up a little bit. 
I got dreams and you don't. The tags confuse me a lot. You don't know how to do them right? Um, just put a million different tags in there. Put in dreams, comma, dreams PS4, comma, dreams PS4 tutorial, comma, dreams PlayStation 4, comma, dreams PlayStation 4 tutorial, comma, how to dreams, what is dreams, you know, even do like dreams on Xbox, dreams on PC, even though it's bullshit and they're not actually on there, you know, <laughs> how to do dreams. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you do. It's weird, dude. Yeah, streaming is a, it's a good way. But, I mean, I don't do ads. I don't ask for money. I just, to me, it's more of a hobby. And when I'm when I'm feeling lonely, I'll do a little you know, live stream, I mean. Or if I feel like I have something to teach. All right, back to business. So, um, one really cool thing that I mentioned earlier um, about using, we're going to use an emoji. So we're going to go to our gadgets, we're going to go to text displayer, we're just going to slap one down over, let's do it over here. And um, so I was showing you you can do something like this, and let's say I put an L, and then I put this. Check it out, we got a left joystick. Same with, um, I could put R2, and I got R2. But what I'm looking for, I'm going to have to go on my phone real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for something to, like, uh, indicate the string. And I'm kind of going off of a YouTube video that somebody made. But anyways, uh, Crimson says, yeah, you can also get a tag generator that tells you how well some tags do and just copy. Oh, I didn't know that. I just kind of just throw whatever I can think of on there and then move on and then <clears throat> I'll go back on my I'll go back on my laptop and just if I'm feeling productive I'll just throw a bunch of new tags on there stuff that I didn't use here we go animation sustain UI anim sustain UI anim sustain okay so check this out UI anim anim sustain So when I do this, boom, check that out. So this is what we're going for. And um, we are going to, let me think how we're going to do this now. Well, okay, we're going to pretty much do the same thing we did with these, the E, A, D, but we're going to, let's put this over here. Wait, let's set it up first. Okay, so we're going to scope in here. We're going to make it in scene and we'll slap it down this will be on the east string we want it right around here and by the way uh, oh Platypo platypus you've been going to other streams videos and going uploaded today and I'll watch the videos and comment usually the poster is very happy oh heck yeah and like eventually you know you can go like when you follow people it will show their it'll show if they posted stuff so if you find people that you like obviously you want to follow them and pretty much anybody that follows me I usually just follow them back just out of courtesy All right, so we're getting this right about here. We're gonna make this one a different color, though. Let's make it what a greenish, bright green. Why? Oops. Bright green. A little bit bigger. It's now what happens if you play it. Check it out. So now you can see the the notes. I'm gonna make it a tad bigger. Um, you don't see a lot of videos with mics and webcams, though. Yeah, and I've, I 
like my last stream I used I did video I don't know I'm kind of having a bad hair day and I need to shave so I didn't do the video in this stream but I usually you know occasionally Crimson you're a good YouTuber and your channel has a lot of potential keep it up thanks Crimson new sub thanks bro um, I'll sub to you guys too sure you're new to YouTube and trying to learn how to make kind of enjoyable worth watching um, my some of my biggest advice is um, on your you on your phone definitely get the YouTube creator app because you need that you know obviously you probably have YouTube on your phone but there's also the YouTube creator app and that one allows you to edit stuff and the main thing there is being able to edit thumbnails so what I do is when I'm bored and have nothing to do you know I'm at work or something or in you know sitting at the drive-through I'll go to that and what you can do essentially is you can what the heck okay I can't change the font because it's an emoji duh but you can use that app to take screenshots and then you can take that screenshot and make it your thumbnail for that said video so a big part of getting views is just people seeing a cool thumbnail and they'll click on your your video so that's one little tip I got um, platypus I said you know, uh, platypus the creator studio help you yep yep and that's if like on your computer but a lot of people don't have like necessarily a laptop so if you just have your phone um, you can get the, the that app or maybe that's what I was talking about anyway I'm dumb okay so that I'm sorry, it's it's probably kind of annoying to hear that dong, dong, but that's kind of that's what we're doing. It's just the way it is. Okay, so so we're gonna am animate this these arrows really quick, uh, just to make them a little bit more obvious. So we're gonna go to animate. And then um, action recorder, and I'll just plop it down up here, and I'm just gonna increase the size of this just a tiny bit. And that might not work very well, but so now if we play it, see how it's kind of going crazy. But that's okay. That's because I didn't change things yet. So we can also. Go to our this action recorder, and we're going to change it to ping pong, and we're going to turn the speed down and the amplification way down. Turn the springiness up, and now let's check it out. Okay, that looks like total shit. Um, so let's forget about that animation. I think we got an easier one. We'll do. So we're going to open up the text displayer, and see here we can change the text brightness if I wanted to. We're going to record me changing that brightness. So, um, first of all, uh, yeah, you guys should uh, sub to each other, make sure you're downloading YouTube Studio. Nice, you'll love it. Uh, okay, so we're going to, we got this opened up, so we're ready. And another little tip, you can zoom in on this here just to make it a little easier to record animations. So we're going to slow down, throw down an action recorder. And all I'm going to do is turn the brightness up just a tiny bit. Oops. Say 14%. So that's all we did. So if I play it, you can see it goes up to 14 and resets 14, but we actually want it to, we don't want to reset. We want to ping pong. So now we do it again. Goes up to 14, drops down to zero. Goes up to 14, drops down to zero. So now if we play it, you can see those arrows on the left. They're just a little bit more obvious. They kind of flash a little bit. See what I'm saying? And you know what? I'm not satisfied with that. Um, first of all, we got to bring this down just a bit. Let's line it up. So we're going to re-record that, and instead of going to 14, we'll go a little bit higher. We'll go to, let's say, 25%. 
There we go, 25%. And same thing, we'll turn it to ping pong, 50%, 50%, springing this up. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that amplification. Let's turn that back up. Play. You got 2,000 subs, Crimson? Damn. What kind of stuff do you upload? So the speed is a little slow. I'm not digging it. Let's go back to 100%. I did move up pretty slow that time. Okay, I'm spending too much time on this, but we're going to copy and paste it, so we need to make sure it's good. We can make that way faster, actually. And sorry for listening to this repetitive, annoying audio, but when you're... Do you have any new tips or tricks for a new YouTuber? Crimson must be the expert. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Platypus, your... Uh, let's see what your... I mean, your channel logo should be something recognizable. Anyway, all right, so I'm, I'm going to just turn that up a little bit more speed-wise. Last time, let's see if this is good, we're going to move on. So bright, not bright, bright, not bright. That looks about right, okay. So now that we have that... We should be able to just drag this onto our timeline and make it the same size as this. Jesus fucking Christ. And then if we copy, oops, copy paste it, edit this. Bring it down. Why did that happen? Oh, damn. Oh, maybe that is right. Sorry, I'm going to rewind this. I've got a platypus as my logo. Yep. But what else is it? It's I see a little text under there. Basically copied, but not completed. Just the style. Okay, let's see. Oh, what the hell? Why does that uh, change on me? I wonder if I screwed something up. Alright, what's going on here? This should be here. And you should be here. how that got mixed up oh the text says the platypus party okay okay what'd you use to make that you photoshop dude what the hell I don't know how these got so messed up but sometimes you just oops okay let's delete this one let's just kind of oops let's start back at the basics here Get this back where it's supposed to be. Maybe because I did that action recorder, it screwed it up. You paid someone for the platypus and added the rest in Photoshop. Okay. Listen and did just that. YouTube themselves and also the best way to grow is to steal their copy ideas of big channels. Oh, that makes sense. All right, so let's save this. Crimson Fang. I like your logo. It's I mean a little simpler. Mine. I'm gonna change mine probably sometime in the near future. So I gotta use the little boys' room real quick, but I'm gonna leave you guys. Or I'll be right back. But um, I'm gonna play you guys. Uh,
probably the my best thing I've created so far. It's a short story. It's only about two minutes long, but it's called Little Orange Riding Hood. Kind of the sequel to Little Red Riding Hood, but much more violent. So if you're squeamish, don't watch. But I'll be right back. i got to take the bathroom break and grab a beer. Be right back. My sweet child, be brave as you bring this medicine to your sick grandmother. E <laughs> yes, mother. No need to worry. <laughs> la la la. la, la. Little Red fucks up the demon. <laughs> Did you guys see that coming? Are we the same Trev? I wish. It's another cool Trev, dude. What's up? I was just taking a little bathroom break slash beer break, and I forgot to get my beer. Horrible sin, Trev. You need a beer. All right, so that's the end of that. Yeah, I hope you guys like that. Um, what's another cool thing I did lately? All right, here's another one where I did some voice acting. Uh, Never-ending story. All right, I'm going to go get a beer. I'll be right back. But yeah, I did the voice acting, um, reading the script from Never-ending story. Hopefully you guys like that movie. If you haven't seen it, go fucking watch Never-ending story. If you come any closer, I will rip you to shreds. A tray you squats down where he's at and looks at the wolf. Who are you? I am Gamor. And you, whoever you are, can have the honor of being my last victim. I will not die easily. I am a warrior. <laughs> Brave warrior. Then fight the nothing. But I can't. I can't get beyond the boundaries of Fantasia. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Fantasia has no boundaries. A storm blows the city, slowly shaking it. Oh yeah. Rocks fall. So yeah, there's some silly voice You're acting. Lying. Be the nectar of the gods. Trev Tyler, are you a dreamer, my friend? Fellow Trev? I don't know many Trevs. Any Trev I ever meet, they're always Trevor. But let's get back to what we were working on. Title of the stream. Making a guitar tuner in dreams. That's what we got so far. Doom. 
Um, so we're, hopefully this hits a, or no, it won't because we didn't do it yet. Hopefully that green stops on a, yep, alright, so, we should be able to just copy and paste this a bunch of times just like we did with the uh, text. Kinda of hard to get it perfect. Bam. Bam. Okay, good. Oops. Copy and paste. Grab you, drag you down to D. By the way, if you're looking through your timeline and you scroll up here on the top, that's how you can look at the progress. Um, e A. All right, so far so good. Drag this down to G. And since we're doing so well, I'm just going to assume that worked. And we'll move on to another B. Move that down to the B string. Trev, you play Dreams? I'll give you a follow here real quick. Uh, Trev, what's your uh, PSN? I'll give you a follow right now. And if there's anything you'd like me to check out, be happy to. All the way up to the E string. Bada bing bada boom. So assuming everything went as planned, then this should work perfectly. <laughs> yes, good. Good. What do you guys think? Is this is there anything you would add here? I'm pretty much we're almost done. this creation. He's dreaming, man. He's gone. He peaced out. But once I finish this, uh, I'll probably be streaming for a while. Is there anything else you guys want me to check out? Or no, I gotta check out that hammer party thing. Make a song with it? With this? songs every day. Could record some music if we wanted. You don't create, Trev, you just play or what? You don't gotta be sorry. To each his own, you know? Ooh, those crossed over. We don't want that. So I wasn't sure how that would work, but yeah, if these blend or if these cross over each other, they will both appear. So let's just nip that in the bud. There we go. Line everything up here. And I believe if we scope into here and trigger restart timeline should just continuously play. So on the end trigger output, it'll go into the restart timeline input. So hopefully once, I should have done that before I played it before there, but oh, you know what I do need to do is change the lighting a little bit. Happy Hammer, okay, I'll play that uh, once we finish this up here. 
Yeah, maybe I don't need to change the lighting, actually. Hmm. <laughs> you know what we could do? <laughs> Here, hold on. Uh, I'm going to restart this one more time. We're going to play it through, and then I think we'll be ready to be done with it. But I'm actually going to tune my own guitar here, so let's tune a guitar, baby. Let's see if it actually works. My guitar was already pretty tuned, but some very talented people in dreams. Thanks. So there's G, two more strings. Oh, I'm tuning the guitar to a guitar tuner that I just made in Dreams. That's pretty fucking awesome. Boom, we did it. Oh, let's see if it replays. Come on, restart. Come on. Damn it. Alright, so partial failure. I was hoping it would restart, but I don't know why it didn't. But, it's alright. I mean, I know there's other ways I could do it. could literally just... I thought I could just make this loop. Loop, we'll play it. Am I that stupid? Oh, I can just loop it. God, I'm dumb. Let's just see. either control it or if you made a song with it. Oh, I see. Yep, and uh, I mean, there already kind of is some stuff kind of like that. Oh, it worked. There we go. There we go. So here's a tip um, for making your dreams successful is making sure you get good screenshots. So modes, photo mode, Do something like that. And another tip, um, I always just release my photos online because you run out of space really quick in Dreams. Um, whereas you can just put stuff online and you don't have to take up any space. So let's X out of that. And we can change the, uh, the background. So you go in here, we go to edit. Or customize set background photo and there we go so once I release this somebody will look at this and be like yeah that looks pretty legit and you got a good little description I'll change this stuff too we're not gonna release it today but yeah there's our guitar guitar how to make a guitar tuner 101 with clever trap um, and I'm a guitar oops Guitar's tune. Let's play a song. Playing dreams, streaming dream, with crimson fag and plat, all oh, fang and platypus party. Crimson fang, platypus party, clever trev playing dreams. There we go. Okay. Let's go to Dream Surfing. No, oh, back up. And 
What was it called again? Hammer. Happy Hammer. Happy. How good are the thermometers in Dreams? I can't seem to get an answer from any other YouTuber or person that owns Dreams. It's actually what, please put it in Dreams. <laughs> I could do way better. This guitar would be great. Um, okay, so how good are the thermometers in Dreams is your question. You see a lot of people, I mean, I could give you a really detailed answer for, answer for that. Um, shit, I was going to do Happy Hammer. Well, here, okay, so before I do that, um, like I was talking about earlier, there's there's the tool that allows you to change let's just remix this um, so if you look right now my thermal is at 2% gameplay 50% graphics 3% audio the reason it's at 50% graphics is because I cranked everything up all the way because I knew that this is such a simple dream I don't gotta worry about the thermal at all so um, and then so that's like graphics is like the, the detail of these objects, how how much they look r like real 3D stuff, as opposed to kind of like fuzzy. And also, what I like to do is you can just turn on the thermometer, so it's there all the time. Um, but then graphics represents. So if you go to gameplay, represent individual things. This is the one that I have the hardest time with because sometimes you have a lot of small pieces connecting to each other. Um, and then audio, that's you never really gotta worry about audio, obviously. It's not like you're doing so um it really depends, but if you run into graphics problems, all you really need to do is you go to your tools and you go to sculpture detail and you can just reduce the detail of stuff. See how it's going way down, like so like there's always a way to combat it, it's just um but over time, you really learn how to see now how it looks kind of just fucked up. Because <laughs> I turned the graphics way down. That actually looks kind of badass. Another cool tip. So because the graph or the detail is so low, you can see the flex. And we can change those flex, which is sometimes really fun. Sometimes you can change the flex and make it completely different. So right now, it's got this flex, heavy flex. It's kind of like it's just a square, but we could change the flex to other stuff. So this is really, you know, this, once you get into the, like changing flex and things like that, that's when you really start to really get your, get your hands dirty with how deep Dreams is, you know. So now they're triangular flex and they look a lot different. Um, yeah, absolutely. For distant objects that you don't notice, you didn't, yeah, you don't need, um, so it really just depends on like what you're doing one thing that I'm oops didn't want to save it we're just gonna delete that I one thing I'm really proud of is so if I go to my creations and I go to low thermo because I'm big on the thermometer like it's really important to me because I like to make huge stuff I like to make just massive maps so um, you know, these are just low thermal things. Um, but that wasn't what I was looking for. Um, uh, what's, what's it called? Path? It might be called the... Maybe this one. Um, pretty much I made this. It's all about finding objects with low thermo in the first place. If you bring one object in that is going to kind of screw you up, it can screw your whole operation up. But like, when I made this big like cool forest thing, everything I imported, I made sure it was really minimal. And to do that, what you can do is, what I would do to test things thermo is I would, I would grab one thing like this. This is how I really like to. to Oh, well, this is, this was a horror level. I eventually used it for something, that little short film, The Little Orange Riding Hood, if you saw it. That's what this is. But if you ever want to test something's thermo, do this, grab it, and just copy it, and just paste the living shit out of it. So I just did 20. So it went up 2% for 20. So you can see right there, it takes about 1% per tree almost. 
So if I copy and paste these 20 a bunch of times, 24, 6, 80, 100, we're going to go up to 200 trees. It went up 31%. And I mean, that's a hell of a lot of trees. But that's what, that's what I really like to do is before you start just throwing shit into your level, make sure it's not going to fuck you over in the end. And um, find things that you can copy and paste. So like you see all these trees. Really, there's only like seven different objects in here, but I just copy and pasted the shit out of them to make it what it is now. Uh, let's get out of there. But you take something like that and you can make just a massive level. Just keeping your thermometer low enough to where you can add other stuff like characters and but yeah, that's that's what I use to make this level. Uh, I won't play the whole thing because it's kind of long, but <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> it's had a huge forest to work with to film this. So it gives it like that he, giant atmosphere and yes, space and no need to worry. <laughs> contrast or whatever you want to call it. La, 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 la. Yeah, they said it's better to copy than to recreate. Absolutely. I mean, because it doesn't keep hogging up. If you take one object and copy it 20 times, it doesn't use up nearly as much thermometer as opposed to creating 20 new objects. Uh, okay. Happy hammer. <laughs> um, I bet once I see it, I'll be like, oh yeah, I did play this. This one must be... No, maybe not. I, that's the same girl I used in my Orange Riding Hood. Is this the right one? Thanks. Oh, it's got Mario sounds. That's cute. I'm not a big platformer guy. Oh yeah, it's very classic, classic style. Oh cute. I know eventually I'll make a, a side scroller, but so far I've just been more into the 3D stuff, like third person, first person, or just a straight up static camera. Wow, I really like, those animations are really impressive. When you hit them, their eyes like cross. This music's cool too. Oh, cool! They jump. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I'd cr critique is she's kind of a simple looking like. Kind of a basic looking character. I wish they were a little cooler looking. Oh, secret. Oh, yellow dudes, they take three hits. Nope. Those hearts look cool too. Ah! Damn it. Yeah, I suck. Oh, I like those that heart system, that's nice. If you make a side scroller, make a game like Cuphead. Oh shit! Just hand draw everything, make it super impossible. I never actually played Cuphead because, sadly, it was never on PlayStation. That's about all I get to play. Oh, she's got a little combo that she does. Cool. Are there any roller coaster levels in the game? Uh, definitely, I've played at least one. Check and check out them. Stage clear. That was cute. Oh, I didn't get all the coins. There's something back here. 
This person definitely deserves a follow. Toto Tidopa. I struggle to enjoy in English because I'm not the best at it. That's okay. We'll give them a heart. They'll probably know what that means. Here you go. Give him a heart. <laughs> Play cup pitch on Switch. Oh. All right. A boot? Who's a boot? Oh, a boot. Hey, sorry. I didn't see you there, friend. Welcome. Welcome. But uh, let's see what else we got working on in the books. So I'm currently working on a showcase where I, I'm just finding really good structures or sculptures and just showcasing them. So I made this, um, I kind of just will copy and paste them and make them reflective. And I, I always have, I always give credit to the creator. So um, basically I have it where you can just, I'll hit X here to move. And I can just, you can just uh, look through the different cool sculptures. It's on Switch, but Microsoft and Sony don't like working. Oh, I know. It's like Xbox and PlayStation trying to work together. Hello, Abud Zoro. What's going on? Are you a dreamer? You fellow dreamer? So anyway, I've been just finding cool sculptures. So if you guys have any recommendations, if you guys find a really cool sculpture that I don't have in here, please uh, share it with me, and I will add it to this uh, showcase. This is one of my favorites here. This one just won second place in the sci-fi jam, community jam. I'll let this one run all the way through the cameras just so you can see. I've been skipping through them. But if you want, you can just let the camera roll and it'll give you a 360, a full 360 view. And it'll just keep looping over and over if you really want to look at it. Um, but whenever you want, you can just hit X to skip. So yeah, that's ice cream cheese. He's a beast. Yeah, do that abode. It would be great. I was thinking about making a first-person roller coaster game for VR. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Speaking of VR, did you guys see that Firewall is going to be the free game in February for PS Plus? If you have VR and you, if you have PSVR and you don't have Firewall, you're missing out. But it's going to be free. Oops. So that's Mecha Whale. I'm going to move to the next one here. So this is Crossbow by the Architect. So far, the best like sculptor I've seen is probably the Architect. This Crossbow isn't that impressive, but I've got I think one other sculpt that's much more impressive. Mechwheel is the best, yeah. Do you have firewall? Do you have the aim controller? Because I do on both. So there's the crossbow. We're just gonna keep moving. Marshall Earl Clayton by Max Seventeen. This dude's got some talent. I need to fix this one where it's a little more zoomed in, but it'll zoom in here shortly. But you can see um, this guy had more of a smaller sculpture, but a lot more detail with some rain. Yeah, that dude's pretty badass, smoking a cigarette, delivering some justice, some southern justice. Next. Okay, this is one of the better sculpts you'll ever see in Dreams. This is Mad GFS Snigs. Maybe the best sculpture, you know, there's a couple ones that are really good. I have the controller, but I don't have the game until it's free with plus. Oh, bro. Yeah, um, did I follow you yet? I forget. Or you don't have dreams yet. Yeah, I mean, you saw my gamer tag. Feel free to shoot me an invite. Um, dude, Firewall is amazing. I need to I need to hook up my PSVR again. So that's there's a power tool for you. Does um, Abu, do you have PSVR? He's Godzilla. I might delete this one. It's not that cool. Whatever. We're gonna... Let's just skip through the rest of them kind of quick. Oh, this one's badass. Utopian Interest number four by Diamond Dancy 10. This character's badass. Wow. 
Yeah, that one's awesome. Fire Dragon. Ghidorah 2019 by Fire Dragon 115. I think this is a Japanese player. But um, Ghidorah, if you're not familiar with, is a, a Godzilla character, a Godzilla enemy. I think Ghidorah is in the movie, the new movie. Yeah, that one's pretty badass. You're focusing my YouTube on Dreams and PSVR. Okay. You don't have it about him? That's too bad. You got a PlayStation? Here's a Beetle, whatever. Okay, here's another one by Mad GFS, uh, GFX Snags. Max, Mad GFX Bio Cutter. This one's pretty badass. Um, by the way, I'll, uh, I can show you guys how I do these reflections if you're interested. There, you can't actually make reflections in this game in Dreams. There's no real reflection. Um, you have to kind of fake reflections and essentially copy and paste it and make it look like it's reflecting off of a surface like it is here and all of these dreams that I've been doing yeah isn't it nice just the way they they sculpted that and all the colors and the way they this one's one of my favorites Disney Castle and Dreams by Zayit and they had some some Disney music involved in this but I deleted it because I didn't want to I don't want to get sued by Disney you know so <laughs> I just kept in the, the visual stuff. And they also did have like a river and some mountains, but I deleted those just to have it so we could make the, the reflection. There, that's the best you're going to get. It's my whistle. Leviathan Axe by Mickey Kisselt. This one's kind of cool, but we're just going to keep skipping through. Snow Leopard. This one pl placed top three. Hey, thanks, Elijah. I'll add you. Snow Leopard. Pretty nice. Okay, we're getting closer. And the Cast Mansion by Billy Cultist. This one's a really sweet building that this dude made. But we're going to skip. So, yeah, I'm, that's a work in progress. That's another one I have yet to upload. Um, what's most of my newer stuff? Never ending story. This one I just uploaded the other day and it's just blowing up. Um, I uploaded this like three days ago and it's already got 84 thumbs up. Uh, my buddy owns a pickling company and his logo looks like this. So I just kind of recreated his logo. And this is what I submitted to the food community jam, but just a quick little... The crunchiest pickles, known to man, it's Fazio's. It's a Fazio's. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Like a seven second ad, and people are already 84 thumbs up. So, I'm just pretty surprised by that one. And I got a lot of um, some music I recorded a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, What's up, Gun B3? Welcome. Thanks for hopping in. Gun B3. Is that like Gumby, kind of? Gun NB3. NB3. Mama, take this badge off of me. Because I can't use it anymore. Yeah, there's some. That's just me singing, playing guitar. Something I was just in the, in the music mode. Another cool thing I've been working on is, um, I don't know if you guys are into sports, but I was doing a live stream commentary of the football games last week. So I was like keeping track of the score and the field position um, and stuff like that. So that's one cool thing, you know, for example, let's say, like I could be, kind of, okay, second quarter, Green Bay down 0-17, to 17, San Francisco on the Green Bay 15-yard line. Uh, Garoppolo takes a snap, rolls left, pass, touchdown to Kittle. Wow, Packers flag for defensive holding, not going to matter. That's going to make it 24-0, to zero, Packers, commercial break. Uh, anyway, um... So yeah, I did. I was doing that the other the other day, just kind of as a test. I, I, you know, 
and I th- it was pretty successful. I actually had um, I had like three hundred something views just during the stream, and you know, it's kind of fun. It's a name for my character, but it's Arabic. Oh, okay. Gun, do you have uh, dreams? Are you a dreamer? Check this out, guys. This is uh, I didn't make this, by the way. Really cool kitchen that somebody made. Let's see. Reckless Snipes. This dude's a badass. Give him a follow. Aspiring game developer. Really talented stuff. Oh, this is something I uploaded recently. It's Pickle Rick! Marty, I'm a pickle! But yeah, you can control him. You can't really tell right now, but he's moving and jumping. and Yeah, so he's remixable if you want to make a Pickle Rick level. Snag it up, go for it. Alright guys, here's uh my sci-fi jam entry. Didn't even get top ten, I was kinda sad, but if you guys like Blade Runner, and this is a good example of some voice acting, I did some voice acting and also a lot of um, animation recording or puppet recording. The year is two thousand seventeen. Planet Earth is in complete despair following the great floods of two thousand nine. Over 99% of the human population was wiped out. Very retro. The few remaining survivors are now nostalgic. A way to restart the human race, tasking Blade Runners to seek out a solution. Stop, Stop their, their looming movement. extinction. A rookie Blade Runner is on his first recon assignment. And he must now report. Boss. Major Kerrigan. Good luck, rookie. Good luck, rookie. So that's my voice. I, sl- I slowed it down from 100% to like it's like at like 85%. So I sound a lot deeper. Of course, you're a dreamer. Atta bye. I'll give you a follow here after this. If you want to put your PSN down, I'll well, follow welcome you. Welcome to the grinder, you little grunt. Ah, just kidding with you. Why don't you try and follow me? Maybe uh, see what you're made of. My name's Major Kerrigan, by the way. So yeah, this is a. One of my most recent dreams that I've uploaded. And you're just kind of controlling this futuristic Blade Runner vehicle. Now try to keep up, will you? <laughs> anyway, rookie, welcome to downtown Chicago. Not what it used to be, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's me doing the voiceover, doing my best southern accent. Well, hey, rookie, welcome to the f- downtown Chicago. Ain't what it used to be, huh? <laughs> now, if you didn't know, kid, maybe this was before your time. This whole city was constructed by replicants in just a few months. <laughs> kind of ironic how those same bloody replicants went and destroyed the whole world in a matter of days. Funny how that works, yeah. So Platypus says this level gives shows the potential of dreams. Dude, totally, because it's a pretty simple... You, you know, you're just following this dude, but you could make this way more detailed, you, you know. Star tool, right? You could have weapons. Thousands of hovercrafts a day. Like, now, so you could be getting all chased all by enemies. I could be trying to shoot this dude and doing damage to him. Everything. Which does give me ideas already, but... Yeah, I mean, you know... I was thinking if this, this should remind you of Grand Theft Auto. Ripping around this beautiful disaster nearly brings a tear to my eyes. This is like your first Grand Theft Auto mission when you you get in the car and you have to like follow this dude to like the first place. Well, we're almost there, kiddo. Time to dock at our rendezvous. Follow me. <laughs> I'm really proud of that audio. I was. I feel like I do a pretty good southern accent, <laughs> even though I'm from Minnesota. Pretty opposite, but. So anyway, we go to this thing. Oh, check it out! Boom. To be contondered. So, Gun, you're. Hey, thanks, Trev. You're cool too. So. Gun is doing a movie, but the limitation in motion sensor in Dreams is killing me. It's first person cam. What do you mean by that? Expand on that. Maybe I can help you. Yeah, you probably know what you're doing, but. So I have some credits here. My buddy did the music. 
and placed placed on it. And then uh, Jimmy J seventy five is actually the one who made. He kind of inspired me to make this. Well, hey there, dreamer. If you've gotten this far, this is not me talking, but it is. Blade Runners of the Sunken Tropolis. I recorded a little. Awesome. Thank you. It's like a post credit scene. A lot of uh, credit goes to Jim. Anyway, who cares? So yeah, that's something I'm pretty proud of. Um, but if we go back to my, this is all my best stuff here. My collection of the best of the best of the best. Oh, you guys might like this one. So this is called 1080 Cool Snowboarding. Obviously, if you're old like me, you recognize 1080 snowboarding and also cool snowboarding. I mash them together. Let's check out the scoreboard first. So I'm really proud of the scoreboard. Um, it's a race. So OG's finest. He's got the record at 115. And let's see how far down this goes. A lot of people are really close to 120. 125. So we've got 49 different scores for this level, which is badass. 160 thumbs up. Let's give it a play. Yeah. Gunby, what's your uh, gamer tag? So, yep, I made, this is one of the first levels I made in Dreams. At least one of the first like big projects I did. And I've kind of tweaked it over the over the last few months and made it more more polished but essentially once this race race starts you try to just go as fast as you can this little intro tutorial hit grinds and jumps for extra speed so the strategy of this is to uh, not hit the ground a whole lot and just hit jumps and grinds because the jumps and grinds give you a little speed boost so the more you can do that the better By the way, this music, this is another song that I wrote and recorded. But I definitely learned a lot from this level, making this level. I didn't really know how to do shit when I first started making it. And there's a lot of things that I did very poorly in this. For example, every see all these little arrows on these jumps? Those take up a ton of, of thermo. I shouldn't have I should have just did one instead of four on these jumps, you know, there's no reason to have four of them. Um, little things like that that just took up way too much thermo. So I kinda just ran out of stuff to do and I had to just end it. Oh boy, yeah, this is people's favorite part usually. Yeah, just kind of keep trying to hit these jumps. The ending is the most important part. You got to try to hit this last. There's one middle dude right at the end that I'm probably going to miss. Oh, right. oh, there we go. That was actually pretty good. Oh, 119, 120. Oh, that was my personal best, I think. What did I get, like 119 something? That might have been a personal best right there. Yep, I'm from Minnesota. That got me in a third, third place. Check it out. That's great. I just love how I can't even get first place on my own creation. 113 is insane. Yep, I'm from Minnesota. I just recently moved to uh, Wisconsin. But um, my heart's in Minnesota, you know, always. Where are you guys from? Where's everybody from? Is Fargo a real place? Fuck yeah, it's a real place. And it's essentially on the Minnesota, um, North Dakota border, way up there. It's uh, definitely small town USA. It gets really bad in the winter, a lot of snow, gets cold as hell. Um, UAE, United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates. Cool. Well, cheers to you from the USA, man. Peace on Earth. It's cool that we can connect from different sides of the world and hang out and shoot the shit. So here's a song that I recorded entirely using Dream. So I recorded the guitar and the, and the vocals into my headset, and then I added other layers using dreams you know violins and stuff 
Cheers. Melbourne, Australia. The Aussie Trev, dude. What's up, man? Hope you're doing all right in those fires. I know that's kind of a catastrophe going on out in Australia, going on out, there on the, out in the outback there. When you possess the hands of the puppet, controlling by motion sensor, the joints of puppet's hands start stretching and shaking. Um, I think there's things you could do differently, probably. So, I think a good example would be... Let me show you what... Let me show you what I think of that. If you're having a hard time controlling the arms of your puppet and it's glitching out like that, we're going to go to my figure, figure skating scene. So this is my puppet here. And um, sorry, the music's kind of loud. So if I hit R2, this is R2. This is L2. This is R1. This is L1. This is triangle, square, uh, circle. So if it's if what you're trying to do is something like this, then I could help you. Maybe it's something else, but um, but pretty much how I did that is let's remix this so I don't screw it up. Let's exit. Makes this way, so whoa. If we go into our puppet here and here I'll zoom in for you just so you can see what I'm doing. So if I zoom into my puppet and then I zoom into my puppet logic and then I zoom into my controller logic, oops, it brings up it brings up my controller logic here. So Here's our controller right here, and all these wires are connected to different keyframes. So, for example, R1 is going to be connected to this keyframe over here. So, if I hit R1, it does that R1 move, as opposed to L1 over here. It's going to do that move, just like L2, R2. Oops. So. Um, when you possess a handle puppet with a controlling by motion sensor, I mean, I guess you're talking about motion sensor, so that is definitely different. But yeah, tell me what, what else you're talking about. And I can, you know, expand as needed. All right, here, you guys ever heard Shadow of the Colossus? I know I showed this a little bit, but I'm going to play it out. I'll be right back. Abood, no, you can't play it. It's just, uh, oh wow, it's still going. It's not playable. All it is is just a visual, um, just kind of a visual showcase. It would make like a cool screensaver. Like imagine if this was just your screensaver on your on your background. It'd be kind of cool, right? Um, and that was pretty early on when I was learning how to play Dreams. Um, I have a buddy who's a Twitch streamer. 
awesome Twitch streamer if you like to watch really good shooter players. Good friend of mine, Tony Slayer. Check him out on Twitch. I made a cool little intro for him, so like he could, he, and you know, if you guys ever have a little success on YouTube and you need to have a cool little video like this, I could help you out. Make a cool Twitch video or something. And another f Tony Slayer fan made this audio. He made a song. Tony Slayer. But another good example of how expansive Dreams is in terms of what you can do with it, different things you can do with it. Like I like to make these kind of music videos and I made this huge, you know, retro map looking thing. Um, can I play it? The Oh, the figure skating game? Yeah, I can play it. You must have, oh, I guess you came in late. Yeah, you can definitely play it. Um, here, I'll play it back here while I'm reading this here. So you want to possess, I mean the puppet hands copied the control sensor movements. Oh, the hands. That's crazy. I don't even know what, what are you trying to do. I'm curious. I've never tried that. I'm assuming you're putting the motion control sensor on the hands. My honestly, my guess is that you would have to. You can't use a puppet. You need to create your own puppet. You need to create your own character and rig it up completely new. Because the puppets are kind of, they're kind of constricted in terms of like options. They have so many like presets on them already. It's hard to monkey around with stuff like that without it glitching out the whole puppet. See, so yeah, I would say don't even use a puppet, just create your own puppet, which is not easy, but... Should I do a little routine for you guys? We're gonna start it off real, real easy, real slow. Ready for it? Oh yeah. We jamming dude, we jamming. actually a very fun it's really fun to play this for some reason I don't know why but it's almost like meditative like once you kind of know how the controls work get your spin down oh yeah triple axle to double axle to single axle Love it, thanks. Thanks, Dex. Thanks, Gun. This looks fun. I'm gonna make sure to check it out when it... Yeah, I haven't released it yet, but by the time it comes out, it should be ready. What's going on, Dex, bro? Thanks for popping in. I just saw you were streaming earlier today. I was tuning in for a little bit. I forget what you were doing. Yeah, it totally reminds me of Bound 2, now that you mention it. I was thinking of maybe adding some more, even some more moves, but right now we've got R L1, or no, R1, L1, R2, L2, triangle, circle, square, X, 
Discord so I could do something on... Oh, that's right, I forgot! If you right-click, you have a cape. I added this last night. Check out this cape that I have. I'm debating on having it just permanent, having it a toggle, I don't know, what do you guys think? It looks cool, but it's a little... It's like a little glitchy when it goes into the ground like that. seconds and it'll be over with. <laughs> Sorry, it might be getting boring to watch, but it sure is how it's fun to play. Super clean, huh? The joints from the puppet make lighting. Five seconds. Alright, so we're trying to please the gods. And do we do it? I don't know, because I haven't finished that part yet. <laughs> so yeah, that's my current... Uh, there's a two-minute preview of what I worked on today. Ooh. I think I might have seen it. Did you share it with me? Here, I'll, let's check it out. By the way, um, all you guys who, who are watching the stream and enjoying it, go to Darkness on Dex's page and give him a follow. He streams more than me. And he does really cool stuff like this too. And we'll check him out right here. Let's see, following. Deck streams. What the fuck, where are you? Mine. What the hell is your PSN Dex? Yeah, you've been blown up, dude. Um, proud of you. You deserve it, though. You have, you do a lot of cool stuff. Why the hell can't I find you, though? Drink. Oh, what is drink? I was thinking that, but it didn't click with me. All right, so here we go. You're saying you released it today? Is it this here? No. Dude, you play Warframe? Maybe we've talked about this already. Oh, are you talking about it's on, on your YouTube channel? Where's the sword, dude? Where's the slide move? I need to do a slide. Ksh I love Warframe though, it's one of my favorite games. Well, I'll have, to have to check it out next time then when I'm on, or when I'm out done with the stream. It's too bad. It's a shame. It's a goddamn shame. Well, what else do you guys want me to check out? Um, I was kind of just going through my creations here. Um, I've got. A survival game, a fighting game, a cool little showcase, a bunch of music. We haven't done headbanging simulator. There's actually a lot I could change with this one. There's a lot I could edit. Okay, I'll check it out. You linked it? Oh, you're trying to punch stuff. See, so yeah, if you guys haven't seen this one, it's a headbang simulator where you can take control of these heavy metal rockers and you use your controller motion sensor to headbang. So right now I'm moving my controller around to drum. It's another creation where I've learned a lot just from creating it. A lot of this I created from scratch, like this guitar. This heavy rocker, I created his hair. I created this whole level pretty much from scratch. It pretty much looks like hell. This singer is my favorite. <laughs> I 
drum it up. All right, <laughs> it's another one of those things that's so stupid, but it's fun. I don't know. Abud, fighting games. How about a crowd? Oh yeah, in the in the figure skating thing. Yeah, I could add a crowd. I'm not sure yet. This must be Abud. Up. This is what you're talking about with the fighting? What the hell? Yeah, send it to me, bro. Would love it. I don't know, Abood. This isn't uh, working. Let's remix it. What in the hell do you got going on here? <laughs> what is this? Uh, uh, what the fuck? Your controller centers on the hands. Whoa, man. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Whoa. How do you switch hands? Uh, oh, that's not you, Rhett. Oh, that's gun. Sorry, getting you guys mixed up. Rest. What do you mean rest? Rest. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so... It's cool. I like what you're going with, even though I have no idea what you're gonna... what your end game is, but... I guess I would have to just know more of what you're trying to accomplish here. But my first... Like, I guess I'm going to stick with what I said earlier and don't use an actual puppet. You might have to make your own type of puppet and rig it together with, like, um, strings and stuff. All right, Dex. Oh, he's working on it. What, um... Gun... What, what are you making with that? What trying to actually make is it going to be like a karate chop simulator or like boxing or sign language by the second user controller you can so you need so if I had two like a, if it's like cooperative or something like a like two player or is it for the move controllers is it made for the moves maybe that would make sense Yeah, let me, let me know when you send that, Dex. What else we got here? Um, I was playing this a little bit earlier. I'll get back into it, though. Um, this is my skateboarding simulator. So you got the controls over here. But essentially, it's kind of like Tony Hawk controls. Shit. Like triangle is grind, X is push, square is ollie. Oh, that was a good trick. Um, like you can do kick flips and spins. You can go backwards. You know, I can go backwards if I want. Forward flips, backward flips. Let's do a big combo here, ready? Oh, land it! Landed it! Man, there's also a half pipe. The half pipe's kind of glitchy. Um, you know, I would definitely, if I were to make it again, I would make it a lot different. But we can do some kick ass tricks, baby, check it out! Oh, yeah. I 
Olympics. Yeah, this is another example of the amazing things you can create in dreams. You can create a fucking skateboarding simulator. I'm surprised this one didn't catch on as much as it did. Maybe because I was kind of new. I've learned so much since making this, but... And the colors are a little bit too much, too, probably. I should make it just maybe a little more simple. Oh, we crashed. Alright, that's our sign. So yeah, skate park. Skateboarding sim. Check that one out if you guys like that. So, uh, you sent it finally? Just kidding. The controls are D-pad down for sitting, square to attack, D-pad right to do a pickup animation, and I'll, All right, I'll have to probably read that again here in a sec. Alright, ladies and gents. Ooh, I'm excited. It might one of the first ones to get to try this. I'm so excited. You pad down for sitting. Ready to attack. L2 and X for backflip. Ooh. Ooh, alright, sweet. Backflip. Backflip! Damn, that's a cool backflip. Oh, does he not take damage yet? Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. I'd say this sensitivity might be a little fast for this camera. It'd make me dizzy. I turn it down maybe 20%. Made everything myself. Is that a Pokemon? So L2 does a backflip. L2 do, or L2 and X does like a mega backflip. Oh, L2 is a little a little weird. <laughs> Does this guy damage me? I like it. It's very, uh, it's clean. I like that health bar. The hit, the, the hit detection seems pretty, pretty good. Ooh, I like that death animation too. They just keep spawning after I kill them. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, we might be stuck. So it's going to be like a little action RPG kind of game there, Dex. Zelda style almost. Oh, you got some... Some preset pillars going on. I like the sounds. It's very like pretty nature kind of sound. Probably not much, I guess. But oh, let's check out this combo. Square. Square. It's a little bit of a combo, right? So I'm hoping you add maybe a block or something, like a R2 block or something. It's going to be a Souls-like game. You see the great lighting? <laughs> see you later, Abu Zoro. Thanks for popping in, my friend. Dream on. Get your ass on dreams. See the excellent lighting. Oh, I love the shadows in this game, stuff like this. Just makes me happy. Deep head down. Oh yeah, that's right. And then there was a pickup. Oh here's pick up well your hand what's with his hand? <laughs> oh there we go. Oh, it's cause you have to <laughs> You gotta make sure to stand up. I'm just gonna fight sitting down, man. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> cool.
Cool. Here, let's get a screenshot before we quit. His legs hanging over the ledge, though. Yeah, there's a screenshot. Not an actual dream screenshot. I s did I see the pickup? No? I mean, I see the animation. Is there something I need to actually pick up? I'm pretty bad at noticing those kind of things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pick up. Sit. <laughs> you need to fix that. I'm, you know, it's obviously working progress. But... Cause it's still a Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Rah! <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. Not yet, at least. Eventually, you'll pick stuff up. I'm sure. Are you, uh, you must be creating that because of the, uh, Community Jam? Is that why you're doing that? The, uh, Medieval Fantasy Community Jam? Ooh, what's this? This is the winner of the sci-fi. Whoa. Holy shit. but one first place. And I see why. It kind of shows you what wins the community jams though. It's not so much playable stuff, it's more like something that blows your mind in like seven seconds. People only have like a seven second before they're like, alright, next dream. That's badass though. Go back to this guy, Sleeper Wolf. Actually, I think I already follow him. All right, let's follow him now. If you don't win this, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> Giraffe Roundup? Sure. Would love to. We're in just... We're just in freestyle mode now. Let's see, Dream Surfing... Giraffe jam roundup. Giraffe. Two forty one likes by Monkey. Oh, look at that skull. That's cool. Seventy one likes only. Ooh, I like this guy. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, charcoal female. Okay, we'll give this guy a little. All right, platypus wants us to play giraffe roundup. That old chestnut. <laughs> Round them up. Oh, this is great. Rawr. It's like a kindergarten painting. Shut up. This is genius. 
It's funny how they make the one R the right, and then they make the other R wrong. <laughs> Look at the tail on the back. <laughs> Alright, what the hell am I doing? I gotta round him up in the pen somewhere. Giraffe. <laughs> well, where the hell do I bring the giraffes? The hell do you have me playing? <laughs> where do I bring the giraffe? I'd assume I gotta push him somewhere. Just in the center here, maybe? that it's in the jungle gym how the fuck I miss oh there it is they gotta whoever made this could, could just do a little bit better just give me a little arrow or something anything and they just glitch right through it anyway. Fourteen days, huh? Yeah, Dex, you'd be surprised how many... You probably are having the same thing where... Uh, you have people coming into your streams being like, Oh man, I can't wait for it coming to God, I got it pre-ordered! And I'm like, oh, it sucks for you. I've had my hands on this shit for almost a year. Go to your jungle gym, you dummy. Oh, we did it. <laughs> that was a little stupid, but it was great. Stupid, but awesome. Oh, your city simulator. Can I continue where I left off? I maxed this game out big time when I played it. I'm not going to play it, but... Yeah, it's not perfect, but it is funny for sure. Makes me want to do dumb stuff like that. I've had a few recent ideas for... Look, I have a notebook that I keep next to my bed. No joke. Notebook next to my bed with a pencil, and I'm just constantly writing down ideas of new dreams. And a lot of times I forget about them, and I'll be like, "Oh yeah, that is a good idea." Like for example, what time is it? Not even two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we're good to go. Let's start a new creation. I have a really cool idea, and it's not even that difficult. Will they make us monetize our creations? Nah. Dex, you said they just feel bad that they. Think they're going to be able to create like me on day one? Oh no! I think most people that are into this, they're like, "Oh man, I don't know anything, but I'm ready to learn." Something there's something about dreamers, man. We're a different breed, I tell you. And I think it's a lot of people from maybe Minecraft, and just a lot of artists and people that are creative. Um, certainly a lot of little Big Planet players, Roblox. Yeah, I've done Jurassic Park. Pretty cool. Uh, it's alright, you know. It takes quite a bit now to impress me with dreams. By the way, this is what we made. Uh, Dex, you missed it earlier. Yeah, I've had it since the Creator Beta 2. I think day one, I was like, huh. So Dex, we started from scratch earlier, and I made this guitar tuner. Um... So if you're trying to tune your guitar, you can just pop this open. Boom. Good to go. You can tune your guitar. Yeah, see, I've never used Unity, but I've, I've definitely used Blender. We have kind of similar, similar backgrounds. I think I'm more of a... I'm more of like a physical medium. I like to actually, I do like watercolor painting 
I'm a I'm a watercolor artist. I do commission paintings and drawings and stuff. But anyway, this is what we made earlier. And um I have an idea. You know me and Malcolm's being able to make fold games and dreams? Really? Holy shit. Give them my number if you get a chance. <laughs> I could definitely make a full game in Dreams. It would be unlike anything ever. <sighs> yeah, here's our guitar tuner we made earlier in about half an hour. Pretty proud of this one. Maybe release this this weekend once I do a little... I'll meditate on it a little bit and think about it. <clears throat> So we're going to start from scratch, baby. And we're going to do audio visual. And I always turn on my floor and grid snap right away. So um, what I'm going to do here, I've noticed a lot of dreamers lately, before their dreams, they'll have a quick little scene saying like their gamer tag. So it'll be like, a spider's pr production, you know, a, a clever Trev creation, something like that. <clears throat> and I'm thinking of doing something like that. So let's do it. Um, and pretty much what my plan is going to be is so my gamer tag is spiders, and it's going to be a spider dropping down from a web, and it'll stop right about here create a line it'll create a, a a line here and then once I create the line the name the sp uh, the name spiders will scroll from the, the string it makes no sense right now probably to you but you'll see what I'm talking about so let's get after it let's change this to fully white and then we're gonna have it rough we don't want it shiny or waxy and we're gonna as an artist do you usually use well what's up Brian what's up dude so this is Brian here let me save this quick uh, Brian I don't know if I don't think you saw what I did um, with your pickle logo hold on um, Spiders, we'll just name it spiders for now. So if you guys like pickles, Brian makes pickles. Um, and I was showing this earlier. Brian, I, I, so the community jam last week was food. That was a subject. And I was like, shit, man, I don't, I don't really f feel like doing anything food related. But I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I already have a food related thing. I have your pickle ad. So I put together a quick little pickle ad for you. And it's blown up on Dreams. So this is here, right here, Fazio's Pickle Ad. It's already got 84 thumbs up. And I, it, it's like a three-day-old thing. I, so it's got 84 thumbs up in three days. And I made a little jingle for your... Let me a little jingle here. Check it out. The crunchiest pickles known to man, it's Fazio's. It's the Fazio's. <laughs> yeah, I'll play it again. The crunchiest pickles known to man, it's Fazio's. It's a Fazio's. <laughs> so, um, Dex, I want a way to record from your computer. What do you mean, audio? Um, but that jingle, the stupid little jingle, it's literally the first thing I thought of. I'm like, because I didn't really have any time. The, the, the competition was almost over. I had to submit something food related. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll just make a quick little jingle. And literally I had my guitar and I'm like, all right. All right, we'll do with that. Okay, here we go. Crunchy as pickles known to man. It's Fazio's. It's a Fazio. So I'm like, all right, good enough. Let's just record that shit. Here we go. So stupid. Anyway, um, 
that was just for the community jam. I will, I, I could do a way cooler song with better audio. That was just that was just straight up first first attempt, first idea, first attempt. Recorded it, um, saved it, uploaded it. But people are loving it. Like eighty four thumbs up is really really good for just how only it's been out for a couple of days. So, but what I, I you know I keep bugging you about you're getting a fucking website or something. I could easily add. Um, you know, if you had a website or whatever, I could just put something stupid over here saying, you know, Fazios.com, you know, and have that over here, make it a stupid text, I don't know, I don't fucking know, but... You know, and it could be more like this. At least give the people something to to go to. I'm saying, I'm saying, dude. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you just got a sound mixer so I can hear my computer and PS4 at the same. Uh... Dex, I'm not sure what you meant, but love you too, brah. That's why I wouldn't have made this if I didn't love you. Look at this shit. Look at that shit. Oh, he can even... Oh, reverse. He just keeps doing it over and over. Play it one more time. The crunchiest pickles known to man, it's Fazio's. It's a Fazio's. Yep. That's how it goes, dude. Here's the song. Brian was a coral reef master Until some tariffs They fucked his aster So he's looking for a new profession Then he goes to the farmer's market and he sees a beautiful cucumber And he asks What if I pickled that cucumber? Then he pickles it he Pickles and it tastes, it tastes delicious Fazio's Pickles Company For the crunchiest pickles known to man, it's Fazio's. It's a Fazio. Patented, copyrighted, fucking send me my check, motherfucker. <laughs> Just kidding. Pro bono, don't worry. What else we got down here? Go way back. Oh yeah, we were working on uh, this stupid thing. Get the floor out. Okay, so let me think here. Try to line her up. Brian, what's your PayPal? Shut up. You don't PayPal me shit. Now, if you want me, you want to hire me to paint one of your dogs or something, that's a different story. This is my, it's my hobby. By the way, I would love to paint your dogs. That's my specialty. Let's make this all white. So right now it makes no sense of what the fuck I'm doing, but it will. Um, 
So we're going to go to quality, increase the sculpture detail to max, and then we're going to add a camera. We're going to center this camera perfectly, just like that. And then we're going to copy and paste this. We're going to bring it over here. And hopefully you can't notice. In fact, actually, I think you still will notice. Uh, whatever, it'll be. F Something like that. Down for that, I'll text you about that for real. Yeah. And if it's easier, you can send me it on Facebook, too, if that's easier. But, yeah, generally, um, just send me a shitload of pictures of your dogs. Every, Literally every picture of your dog you have, or dogs, plural, send them to me. And then the more I have, the better, uh, the better I'll do. Okay, that's going to block that. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, this will be my intro. So a spider will drop down, and now the spider will stay here, but then the text spiders will kind of come over here. It'll come from behind the web, spiders, a spider's creation or something stupid. A spider's creation. Let's go with that for now. I don't really want this, I don't want it to look different here though. That's what I'm not digging. How could I fix that? What if we do... No, no, no. Oh, there we go. That might be it. How's that look? Yeah, it still sucks. Oh, you know, part of the problem might be, oops, getting the sun and sky in here, making that white, making that white, why is it still, I'll text you by that, oh, sorry. Why is it still blue? It's... There we go. That's eh, better. That's better. We'll rock with that for now. All right. So <clears throat> I think next thing we need to do is find a spider. Find a spider, it'll drop down. How many dogs do you got, Brian? Remind me. Okay, so it'll drop here. Delete. My creations. Sexual healing. All right, I'm gonna play this song real quick while I take a little bathroom break. But um, this is a, like the only song on Dreams that I recorded playing piano. So I do play a lot of guitar, but I can also play a piano. Um, this is the quick a uh, little live recording, and it's about finding that person in your life that just makes you happy. I'll be right back. Sharks are swimming circles. The octopus is wise. He's going somewhere special. I can see it in his eyes. I asked him where he's headed. He turns and says to me, To find my buried treasure at the bottom. 
bottom of the sea. Well, I can't wait. No, I can't wait to reach the bottom of the ocean, find the buried treasure before I drown. The fish are swimming. Sorry about that. We'll delete that music. So the next thing we're going to do is add a spider to drop down. <clears throat> so let's search for a spider. And also I'm going to, I was thinking I was going to space this out just a tiny bit. Actually, you know what? Maybe what we have to do is turn off cast shadows. That eh, didn't change it. All right, let's find a spider. Just go to search in the Dreamiverse, and we're just gonna search for a spider. That easy, baby. Mm, that one looks pretty good. Might be going with that one. Ew, that one's creepy. Ooh, I like that one actually. Cursed corpse. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a good one too. There's so many good ones. Let's just do by most thumbs up. Sort it. Oh, a lot of Spider Man shit. I want Spider Man. I just want a spider. Damn it. Oh, look at this one. Ah, that legs are a little. Weird. Yeah, let's try it. Whoa, creepy. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it's a puppet. Um nah. Ooh, that one's... God, sometimes there's... What the hell? I hate when they do that. <clears throat> Keep searching. Sometimes you just gotta... Just gotta find the right thing. Uh, 
I wish they weren't all puppets. I think I can... Your spider imp freaked me out when you came back. I thought it was a bug. I'm like, oh. I hope you didn't bust your monitor. <laughs> then I'd feel real bad. All right, let's go back to the very beginning. Hopefully one of these is just... <clears throat> I wish they were in all puppets, you know? Just give me a regular spider sculpture. Character, I think that's the same one, damn it. Um, which one do we like better? That one or this one? Alright, definitely this one. This one's got some baggage with it. We gotta delete some stuff. So we're gonna turn on our X ray and preview invisibility, you know? Hmm, maybe not. Oh, maybe this one isn't a puppet. Why did I think it was? Okay, good. Then we got no problems now. So let's center it up. Because it's going to be just dropping straight down. Gotta be much smaller. Let's give that a quick play. All right, that should be good enough. I mean, it's not done, but that spider is gonna be good enough. So it's going to be able to drop down pretty far. Down there. Yep, so it'll drop down about that far. And next we will... We'll just kind of have to remember that. <clears throat> We're going to get this off screen now. As close as we can to on screen as we can, though. All right. Okay, this is where things get interesting. We're going to start adding keyframes. So if we play it, there's nothing there. Blank screen. But we're going to have that spider drop down. And speaking of distractions, let's just turn this spider off. Mm -hmm. Turning my imp off, I mean. Alright. Take a little sip of the beer. So Platypus asks, what are my favorite PSVR games? Number one is Firewall. Number one is Firewall, for sure. Number two, I'd probably go with um, Skyrim. Number three... Um, maybe, um, what's that, uh, Pixie Chunk show where you make burgers and you give it to zombies, dead, something. I don't really have a whole lot of PSVR games. I'm sure I would really like, I don't have Super Hot, that would probably be my favorite. I don't have Blood and Truth, that might be my favorite. But Firewall is where it's at. Fire out, Firewall is, is all you ever would want. I can't even, can't even stress it enough. All right, Tom, what was I doing? So, uh, what are your favorite games there, Platypus, on PSVR? What do you play? Again, I still have to re-hook mine up. It's been a while since I hooked it up. Okay, keyframe. Keyframe tutorial 101. 
So we have our grid lock on, and we're going to have our spider just drop down and stop right about here. So we're going to go to animate, add a keyframe, put it right about here, and we're going to just bring our spider down to where we think we need it. I'm guessing right there. And we're going to make a timeline now. We go to animate, Oops. animate, timeline. We'll put it center. Kind of line it up with that. Shouldn't be more than, yeah, this should be plenty. Platypus says mine are Resident Evil 7 and Rec Room. So I, I, I'm ashamed to say I don't have Resident Evil yet. That's one of like my top games I need to play on VR. I know it might. That, that's the other one I was forgetting. That would probably be my favorite game on PSVR. And I love me some Rec Room, man. Like uh, especially the creative aspect of it. And the social part is great too, but... Alright, so we got um, our timeline. We're going to throw that keyframe on here. Oops. So this keyframe is when we move that spider down there. So if I click on it. But we're going to put it in our timeline and expand it. To, let's say... Let's make it the whole way. And then we're... Oh, shit. So that shouldn't matter too much. So we just gotta... We're gonna move our camera down just to try to... So we did that and we're going to make it fade into that now. So we're going to go to our keyframe and just drag this. Let's say we'll make it two seconds. And boom! But that was too fast. Just a little tiny bit too fast. Um, we're going to do, instead of two, we'll go to two and a half, 2.7. Yeah, platypus. It's hard to get your friends to sit up their PS4 and play. Dude, I hear you, man. I'm the I'm your friend that doesn't want to set it up, you know. For a few reasons. I mean, okay, let's get this closer. For a few reasons. I mean, it does take up a lot of space. It takes up your your USB ports. Um, oh, there we go. That's looking real good. Um, you know, I already have, I already have no space on my hard drive. Every time I want to install a new game, I have to delete another game. So you got, you got to understand, obviously, but, and just the PlayStation Move controllers suck ass, but dude, Firewall is so awesome. I can't wait, dude. Let's, let's play. I need you to give me a little, um, you need to push me a little bit maybe, be like, hey man, did you fucking reinstall Firewall yet? And I'll be like, alright, alright, let's go. And we'll be good to go. Help me out. Help a brother out. Hmm. We're almost there. Just got to do this down one notch. We're going to go back one little notch. I'm a perfectionist. It might drive you crazy. It's probably hard to watch sometimes.
So should we make it real clean? Ah, oh, shit. Might have to do all this over if I... If it looks cooler that way, which it might... Oh, man. Now let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. I don't know. Do we? <laughs> I kind of don't want to keep it simple. Um, th what I'm conflicted here is you have four terabytes for your PS. Oh well, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Just kidding. Uh, let's just keep this for now. I, I won't upload it, so it doesn't really matter. Right. So we're going for a real clean look. So the next thing is... We're going to change the color. No, let's not do that yet. We can do that with the effects. Okay. Okay, the next thing we're going to do then is add a web... Or a, 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 a spider string, whatever you want to call it. So in order to do that, let's see, we're just going to create a string first and then we'll add it in. So again, this guide is crucial. You keep the floor on if you want, but the, the grid snap is everything. We're going to go to modes, sculpt mode, and we're going to make a string. So it's going to be something like this. I'll just plant one down, and I'm just going to stretch it now. We can make it extra long just to be safe. That way we can make it as thin as we want. And we're going to change the colors. We'll make it kind of grayish. Let's make it real shiny, too. And then turn down Impasto. That should be good for that. I'm going to turn our grid down. <clears throat> and you have four terabytes that's just did you do it yourself uh, I guess it's a stupid question do you got a PS Pro I hope I made this long enough shit maybe not Yeah, let's just test this out real quick. Might have to make it black. Uh, at least for now. Let's do that. Alright, it's looking... It's getting there. I think I underestimated it. We gotta make it smaller. And a lot longer. Go to our tools and stretch. Platypus, I have the Spider Man PS4 Pro. Oh, you can buy hard drives that go in USB. Oh, I see. Oh, you lucky dog. See, I feel like an idiot having the PSVR but not having the PS Pro. It almost seems pointless, but I I probably would have bought a uh oh, excuse me. I probably would have bought a, a a PS Pro by now, but because they announced that 
my current PSVR headset will work with the PlayStation 5. There's no freaking way I'm going to buy a PS Pro. I might as well just wait for the PS5, and my headset will work with that, and things will be good. Let's hope they don't uh, disappoint us, you know, which they have in the past. You never know. So next we're going to attach this. Oh, let's make sure it looks good first. Get a little something like that. Oops, still can't see it. Drag this down. Let's hope this fits perfectly. Damn it. Platypus PS5 is coming soon. Oh, yeah. I'll be getting it day one, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. So this does look good. So now that we know it works, we're just going to connect it right to the spider. Do a quick save. Real quick save-ish. They said they will work on the PS5 and there should be a new PS5 until it works. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's and that's what I've seen of the next PS5 or the, the next PSVR is there will be no wires. It'll be wireless, so and that's huge, obviously. You know, just as well as me, the wires are the one of the worst parts of the PSVR. Just like any VR though, I'm sure. And I've, you know, I don't know how many times I've yanked a cord so hard, I'm like, oh my god, I hope I hope it's not broke. I think it worked. Check it out. Fuck yeah, dude. It worked. <laughs> I could get rid of that shadow. <laughs> There's one way. Use a roller chair so I can get the 360 view, but the wires make it. Oh man, for sure. Not to mention how terrible the PS moves are. Those are just the worst. I've always hated them. <clears throat> Ever since they were on the PS3 and they just sucked even then. Alright, I'll figure out this lighting later, I think. something weird like that. Ooh, that could be good, but no. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Next thing we're going to do is change our spider to... Let's try some different finishes before we do anything crazy. I want to make it shiny metal completely and see how that looks. Mm. Go to coat mode. Let's make it a little darker. Let's try to do just a grayish. Now let's check her out. Hmm. Still not there. We might have to just go completely black. This sun might be too dark too. Platypus, I, uh... Ah, uh, yeah, sure. No worries, my dude. What if we had a crazy lighting going on here? Spider drops down. Okay, next part, next step. Now we're going to start having the text come out from the left side. So let's just start adding some text. We're going to go to gadgets, movers and output, and then text displayer. And we'll just slap her down. Oops. We have a pretty narrow window here. Why don't we just make it a little bit bigger? We're gonna we're going for kind of an optical illusion in this scene here, where <clears throat> the the text is going to be behind this block, but in front of this block and it'll make it seem as if it's coming from behind the web. So let's put it as um, a a spider's S P I. I know this looks dumb, but I'm It'll make sense once you see it. Spiders. Creation. Now we can change that to like that. Turn that off, turn that off. Change the font. We'll have to find a good font here. We're going to have to find a really good font. I mean, there's... And I'll probably change... Change it all. Dr. May's extended. So how are you playing? I just pre-ordered it. Oh, holy shit, dude. You pre-ordered Dreams? My god, you've just joined an elite club of happiness... Enjoyment. Dreams will change your life, dude. No joke. When you get to the when you play enough dreams and you get enough familiar familiarity familiarity with dreams, 
you can make anything you can think of. Anything you can think of. Right. Sorry, I'm probably overhyping it a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh, we got to make this um, in scene. In scene in the membrane. All right, let's just pop that in there real quick. Nope. So, uh, Dr. Meg's extended thanks for the hospitality. Oh, dude. Um, what are, um, I always ask people that are about to start getting into dreams, what, what are you looking forward to doing in dreams? Are you going to be playing dreams? Are you going to be creating things? Um, if you're going to be creating things or playing things, what are you looking for? Are you looking for, are you looking for, um, music? Are you going to record some of your own music? Are you going to plug in some of your own music? Are you going to create an RPG? Are you going to do voice acting? A spider's creation. Something doesn't look right. What do we need to change here? Uh, spiders. What do I write? Made by spiders? Spiders creations? Spider. Spiders. Do I just keep it as spiders? I don't know. What the fuck do I do? Damn it. It's there. I just gotta, you know, you just gotta, I gotta just keep trial and error until I find it. Um, Dr. Meg's game, huh? Playing like scary games and like made a good Tokyo game. Draft round will change your life. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know. I, I might have to disagree with that one, but if you like memes and stuff, What should I call it? My gamer tag is spiders. A spiders create. I already did that. Damn it. Spiders creations. Spider. Would the plan up was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When does this come out again? February 14th or something? You know what? Let's just trust our instinct here. A spider's dream. A spider's dream. There we go. A spider's... No, that wouldn't make sense. The spiders. Fuck it, let's just go creation. Do we want it centered like that? Alright, I gotta I gotta get past that part. I can always change it.
So the spider is going to come down and then the text will come from the left to the right. How much is the game anyway? 40 bucks? Yeah, I think the beta was 30. Yep, the, the, the beta was definitely $30. It's only got, but I mean, 40 bucks? Dude, this game, you could, you could tell me this game costs 200 bucks and I would just throw you $200 immediately. Like, there you go. Because it's so much more than a game. It's a, it's a game and it's also, it's like buying Pro Tools. So if you're, if you're familiar with music, it's like buying Pro Tools, but also buying Photoshop, but also buying Blender, but also buying uh, like Word at like Windows. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm getting at is it's it's well 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 worth it. You know, let's go with that one. I think. Spider's creation. Our this is a little bright. All right, guys, this is the fun part. Oops. I mean, it's already fun. What we're going to do next is... Um, this text is going to... Uh, let's move it back. This text is going to come out of the spider, uh, the spider web. Dream seems like, seems good. I'm interested because I like piece games. I guess um, you can build and create games and music on console, dude, for sure. And I mean, Megs, have you seen how deep? Yeah, definitely worth sixty bucks, Platypus. Um. Have you seen how deep the music customization is in this? Has anybody showed it to you? I'd love to. Because uh, being a musician, and I've worked with Pro Tools, I've worked with Fruity Loops, uh, you know, I've worked with um, Audacity, I've worked with all of those music programs, and this one, it's not, it's not as good, but, but it's it's there. All right, let's see. Let's uh, rewind this. All right, Megs, let me show you real quick. Let's do a quick save. And while we're at it, just to show you guys an important thing to do, I'm going to hit start, and I go to take this photo mode. I'm going to take a photo. And I always release online so you don't waste any storage on your console because who cares about a fucking screenshot? If people see it, nobody's ever going to notice. We're going to go back here. We're going to set the background mode to that picture I just took. So anyway, now we got that. We know what it is. But let's start from scratch. Let's go to music. So we're going to put a music timeline down. And because I'm a... Because I'm a actual musician, I really gravitate towards taking my own actual music and um, and using dreams to add to it. Just saw a little and it was immediately interested. Okay. Okay. So right now I'm in I'm in like audio mode. So this is um, where you're gonna add like music. You can do MIDI kind of stuff. You can record music. You can edit it. You can um, copy and paste it. Yeah, people who made Little Big Planet wanted to. Um, so let's make a little riff here. I think. My... Let me tune my guitar real quick here. I don't know what happened. I tuned it earlier and something got fucked up.
Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So let's, um, I'm going to record a quick little riff with some audio, with some vocals. What microphone do you have? I have uh, just a shitty headset. It's a... Uh... <clears throat> I mean, I like, I, I record actual music and I have a, a really nice microphone and a computer program and a USB interface. But when I just record in dreams, I literally just use my headset for my PlayStation. It's, uh, it's like a MO. Ear Force PX22. <laughs> it's actually kind of busted. It kind of comes in and out sometimes, but but just to show you real quick, I'll do a quick little riff and then add to it um, real quick. Um, um, let me think. Belong me to belong in time. Belong on the moon. Belong in sky. All right, I'll record that real quick. So, um, yeah, and oh man, I've gone, I've gone through so many headsets, so many controllers. It's ridiculous. They they suck. PC makes way better stuff. But let me just do a little quick little music demo. Quick, I'll try to do it in like five minutes. So I'm gonna record a little quick riff, and then we'll add a couple layers. Here we go, recording. Belong in tune Belong in time Belong on moon Belong in sky Sky, sky Hold your head up Hold your head High. Hold your head up. Whoa, whoa, Little, nice little gentle jam. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut off that beginning part that didn't work. Or no, I think I just started right away. Okay, we'll cut off a little bit. And um, next we're going to do a little fade in. And we'll do a little fade out. Just to kind of clean everything up. And then I also like to, I'm going to scope into this track I just recorded. And um, we're going to go to sound effects and we'll add a little bit of delay, a little bit of re reverb. And also I like to go to chorus. And I like to turn chorus on to about 10%. And then even I like to turn on the equalizer. Let's hear, see how that sounds. It's a little too quiet. We can crank it up. Belonging to Belonging time Belong on the Belonging sky Sky, sky Hold your head on Hold your head my voice went out there. So I can equalize it. I can turn the highs higher, lower, turn the lows, you know. So anyway, um, let's say I wanted to add to that now. So... So that was me playing guitar and singing. Let's say I wanted to add some more layers, some more instruments. I could add drums using dreams. Well, you totally can. And let's do it real quick. Then I'll get back to my little intro. 
I'm going to put this on the top layer there. Um, so we're going to add an instrument. So if we search instruments, and I always like to just go to the media molecule instruments. And let's see, what do we need? We got guitar and vocals. Let's add violin. So where's strings? Vocals, drum kits. There it is, strings. Let's add some violin. And now, I because I wrote the song, I know what key it is in, so what I can do here is change the key to, let's see, G, and it's G major, so we gotta make sure we change that to G major. So if I were to play it here, hopefully they, they can line up. Yep, it lines up. The problem is it's a little too quiet. I think I might copy this one time. Turn this up a little bit. Belonging to Belonging time Belong on Belong in sky, sky, sky. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sounded bad, but. Do a little no more test run. Belong in Belong in time Belong on me Alright, we're going to record this time We're going to use this dark purple one here It's kind of like a uh, Before I record, bro, I want to play this so bad Oh man What kind of music do I listen to? So, um I listen to a lot of different music But, um I'm really I, I I love Pink Floyd, Bob Marley, Bob Dylan, Rage Against the Machine, System of a Down, Tool, um, uh, Petty, Chili Peppers, um, Modest Mouse, Iron and Wine, Bon Iver, The National. But lately, like I'm a musician, and lately I've been much more into just writing my own music. I feel I, like that's kind of my calling sometimes. So, like for this song, for example, it's kind of about that actually exact thing. So, let's record. Oops. That's right. Let's try that again. We're just gonna record in the purple. So we're on G, C. This whole song is just G and C. Belong in time. Belong on me. I can hit different Belong buttons. Belong in sky, sky, sky. Hold your head up. Hold your head up high. We're just recording still. So just we we just recorded all of that so we can play it back and Belonging to I mean Megs if I mean if you really want to play we could always share play. I don't know how good your internet it is, but 
We could just do a little share play. I could let you connect and give give you a little hands-on experience. So, um... I guess that's kind of my my intro into uh, music production on Dreams. I could, you know, you can record music, and then you can record uh, other stuff over it. You know, I can just go up in here and go to this. So watch this. This is what I just recorded. This is I recorded it live, but it literally logs it in like this. So if you ever use a music editing program. To and I could snap it where it would snap it onto the beat. Belonging time. Belong on but I'll be, I'll be right back. We're going to finish up that Belong animation for sky, my uh, intro. Sky, sky, hold your head up. Hold your head up. High. Hold your head up. Sorry about that. Got to take breaks here and there, you know? Um, rewind. So I'm not even going to save this. Even though that was a nice little recording we did there, but... And it might be a waste, you know? This is really pretty. I kind of enjoy the vocals and the guitar. But... Belong on me. Belong on me. Yeah, no kidding. Um, giraffe Roundup, man, I could fucking create that game in like half an hour, and I'd actually make it understandable. You wouldn't need somebody to explain it to you. Hey, you got to round them up into the stupid little, uh, <laughs> the stupid little, uh, what was it the little monkey monkey gym? I don't know what's, what those are called. <laughs> uh, crack me up though. That that is, hey, it's like a puzzle game. You want you want to see some puzzle games? Do you? There's some. There's some puzzle games on. Dreams, I tell ya. Way more impressive. But that's what's great about this, like, is there's some goofy, really goofy, like, meme type games that. I mean, it's the, the whole point of a playing a game is having fun, so. If it's goofy like that, shit. So, what else can you do? Oh, shit, man, are you serious? What else can you do? Let me show you some keyframes, bro. Keyframes. <laughs> so once you get a little more advanced and you start to getting into the more professional, I don't want to say professional, but the really deep stuff, that's when you start getting into keyframes. So you see that spider, how that spider dropped down? That's using a keyframe. That's like the backbone of any kind of 
uh, movement in dreams. Like everything that's still life, different thing. When you want to have things move, fade, um, anything like that. So what I'm going to show you guys is how I'm going to move that text. A spider's creation, it's going to come out of nowhere. It makes no sense right now, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So if you'll see, we have two different pieces here. We have this piece back here, and then we have this front piece, and that's there for a very important reason. And I had a dream about this, and we're going to make it happen. So we're going to turn on our grid snap. And for the hell of it, let's turn on our floor. And I highly recommend when you guys start getting into dreams, always turn the floor on. It, it, it's like, an, like a transparent floor that gives you scale. And, I, and get used to the grid snap. It's so important. Nobody ever uses it, but it's so fucking important. Trust me. Um, okay, so we got our grid snap on at one, and we got our floor on. We're going to just try to drag this over here. And it's not far enough, but just so you see what's going on. See that? So maybe you'll start seeing what I'm going for here. So it's hidden over there. So now if we play it, it's there's nothing there. There's no text, right? But this is where we're gonna add a keyframe. So we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna add our keyframe. We're gonna go to animate and keyframe, and we're just gonna throw a keyframe right here. And now we're gonna bring that text back out. We're gonna put it where we want it, making sure we keep it level. And now, so we're done, we did it, so we're going to stop recording. So now we have this keyframe here. If I click on it, it goes from there to where we just did. So the next step is, this is our, our, um, our timeline up here of the keyframe for the spider. So we've already done the spider keyframe where it drops down. So we're going to add... Our, this new keyframe of the text to the spider keyframe. So we're going to grab this keyframe here and we're just going to drag it up here and we're going to plop it down right there. And now we're going to hold up on the d-pad and make it big. We're going to make it all the way. Just like that one. Now it's not quite ready. What we're going to have to do next is fade it in so if we play it right now, it immediately goes to the keyframe because it's just there. But we gotta f we fade it in, and now it's gonna slowly come in. Boom. So that's cool, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. See how it's just kind of weird looking. What we want is. Um, I'm going to delay it a little bit so this keyframe won't start for the first, let's say, second. But I'm also going to make it a little faster. Let's do second and a half. So it's going to wait for the spider to drop and then it's going to come out. Still not quite there. Let's uh, delay it a little bit more. Another second. And let's even make it go faster. Maybe slow this down, the spider down. Let's try it. Mm -mm. Check it out. That's kind of what we're going for right there. I don't want it to take too long. What do you think? Boom, start. This is something I could just put before every uh, creation I make, you know? Um, what else can you do more impressive than draft roundup? <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again with the draft roundup. I'm thinking we can increase some of these a little bit. So let's increase... 
So if we decrease the fade here, it essentially increases the animation of the spider. And then we can also do that with this. Just I want I don't want to waste people's time. This is just a quick little psh, psh. In fact, let's go even shorter. Oh, boom. There we go. Now we're talking. I was even thinking of doing, um, I could put my YouTube on here. That's maybe what we should do. Spiders creation. I could have the YouTube come from the right. Ah, oh, but can I? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Just have it on the bottom? Yeah, we'll do that. So like building games, how guns and scary games work. If you can, what? The spider kind of stops abruptly. You're right. I know. And I was thinking that. I was definitely thinking that. And right now, I don't know if there's a easy solution. Yeah, I think maybe if we make this thicker, it won't look as bad. Glad you said that though. It's the kind of feedback I'm looking for. Cause I'm like, alright, I was thinking that too, but if this is thicker maybe it won't look it'll look more like an animation. Uh, a little smaller. Ooh, I like how it lines up there. Yeah, I could totally... I don't know. I don't know how I could add any springiness. But I'm not gonna... I won't worry about that too much right now. Let's, let's keep going with the... The next thing I think we'll do, since I mentioned it, we're gonna add... Um, the, the YouTube channel. But it'll be a little bit later than the, the spiders one. So we're going to just copy, paste. Wait, let's turn this guide on to... Let's do... Yeah, let's do two. Copy... Um, we're kind of winging it right now, but let's see. Once you're done with this, you should try to show Imp Meg's horror dream. Are you into some horror stuff, Megs? Uh, what was I going to do? Uh, now you think of me. Um... I do have a horror level I haven't showed you guys that yet. There you go. Club Trip Gaming. But I think I skipped a part I should have done. I was going to have Club Trip Gaming come out later. Need some audio for that too. Alright, let's save this. You should maybe even show him a draft run. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. 
I'm literally about to start my own fucking draft roundup. We're just going to start a new game, draft roundup. Um, all right, we got to find a draft. Giraffe, G I R. Here we go. This is totally. Son of a bitch, I can't escape it! <laughs> uh, that's funny. Get the cops called on me again for being loud. It's. Look at all these weird giraffes. <laughs> giraffe on a stick. <laughs> but of course, number two is just the giraffe on a... <laughs> I mean, it's genius in its own right. I'm not going to lie. Just the cardboard. Take the way they're cardboard, but... But my God. So there is a horror level I've made. Oh, wait. That I haven't showed you guys. It's called Demon Survival Mature. Ew. So high ground is key, is what it says. I should come back and fix this one. It kind of sucks. Oh shit. I was pretty much pretty big noob when I made this. So yeah, it's pretty much just a bunch of these monsters chasing you around. And it's first person, uh, you kind of got a flashlight thing, not a whole lot of visibility. <laughs> I obviously kind of know how to beat it, just kind of keep running. But I want to fix this one to make it third person instead of first person. I think it'll make it a little more scary. Need to go back and edit that one. There's a lot, a lot of stuff I could improve for sure. But this has 63 thumbs up, which is not much. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it, it, some people bitched about that one and said it was too, it was too easy. You need a line. I think I haven't showed you. So you guys want a little here, here, a little history. Shit, where is it? Here we go. I like to make some kind of ambient scenes where it's just really chill. Something you've just put on if you're studying. You know, maybe you got a test tomorrow and you just the need something. Are a few tunes that old dad has sung over the years so this is my grandpa. Heard many times. We'll start with one appropriate to the season. My grandpa recorded this music probably 40 years ago, and I found uh, found his old tapes and I converted them to digital. So I've got hours of my grandpa's music. So I made this simple scene of a sailboat, a river. But you can't tell me this music is awesome. My lover was a logger. There's none like him today. Picture my grandpa 40 years ago if in his basement. 
recording this with uh, old school recording stuff. But he had the top of the line stuff all the time. From off of his horny hide, he'd just drive them in with the good stuff. Good, good stuff. And bite them off inside. I could go revisit this one and edit it. I could make it so you could skip songs if you wanted to. It would be pretty easy. So yeah, that's kind of where I get it from, the Gramps. I got top 25% on this one for the uh, New Year com oh, excuse me, community jam. A little sad story about this. The person that created these goblins that are walking in here from the left side passed away. Um, I forget their name. Electric Fawn, I think the name was. Yeah, here's another song I recorded in Dreams. Bob Marley's uh, Three Little Birds. Here we go. But here's a good example of um, puppet recording where I recorded these dudes walking and I just kind of have them walking from left to right and then, you know, they're kind of just walking past each other, blah, blah, blah. Eventually it loops and they kind of start again and they just keep walking from left to right. So it loops here pretty soon. Thanks, Megs. Pretty simple concept. It's just a lot of my dreams are like this, where it's just a loop of just like I put a, one of my songs in there, and then I just loop like an animation like this. See how the, the they're coming back? They're walking from left to right again. This is easier than you think, too. I'm glad you're hyped, man. Glad you're hyped. Kind of, kind of sad you didn't get into it already. That's yeah, a new jam. By the way, if you're curious how we make the reflection, whoa. All right, that's too much. I can't do that. That was too much. Too much camera blur. <clears throat> Let's see where the good sound. Here's another song. Um, this is me singing with a friend of mine, my friend Becca. She's a professional singer, and we jammed one time, and I recorded a little mashup of us jamming. So, Megs, what other games like this do you like? Is there any other creative games you play? Any kind of game where you create stuff, even like uh, even like SimCity or something. Stardew Valley, Don't Starve, Daisy. You know, one thing I've been thinking about it lately, we're just going to try it out here. I've been thinking of making a Jaws type level where you're like a shark and I'm just gonna try something real quick so turn the grid on let's do this really quick let's make a shark fin I never played a game like this but yeah, like, um, like, what's it, what, like, 
it's kind of like a creativity thing like what else, what other kind of games like this not like this there is no game like this but what other games are you into what made you what made you peak what piqued your interest of this game so we're just going to try this out I know it'll be kind of dumb but let's go to animate keyframe and then let's just bring this here somewhere oh I think I fucked oh we're good recorded the keyframe let's make a timeline turn that off I was thinking of making a dolphin roundup type one. <laughs> uh, that's funny. See, you know, games coming out in February B Day month. Oh, okay. Old are you, dudes? I'm an old man. I'm 67. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, we're going to expand this. And we're gonna remember increase this beginning fade. And now, if all goes well, it's gonna look like Jaws. Dun -dun. Oh, it's horrible, but <laughs> I don't know why I even tried. Whatever, that's terrible. Not even close. Yeah, it was exactly like Jaws. I couldn't have even... You ever seen a shark's eyes? Dark eyes like doll's eyes. <laughs> um, so if you guys are into horror type stuff, a little creepier, darker, a little mature ratings, it is dark tonight. Pixel Tuner, what's up? Meep, meep. So if you guys can handle it, this is some darker shit right here. So Typhus667 is another uh, dreamer, Twitch streamer. Really talented. He makes these creepy ass models. And this is kind of like a sh like think Victoria's Secret, but um, way darker. So we have these different dudes kind of walking down the runway. That was Mantis the Stormlord. Next we got by the way, we got like, some creepy shit back here, you know, we got some dead, some heads on spikes. Next, we got some zombies. And by the way, a lot of these little weird audio dudes breathing in the background, that was me uh, recording some... <laughs> What's up, Pixel Tuner dude? What's going on, man? If you guys want me to check out any of your dreams, let me know. I'd be happy to. I'm already done with uh... All right. <laughs> my favorite part of this is just the background. You see those dudes running around back there? That's like my favorite part. Alright, so pretty soon it'll go to the next part. I need to fix that. So here's part two. So those were like, that was like three of them. But if you're talking, like, everything, there's so much about dreams that is just super PG rated. We're getting to the rated MA mature type shit right here. We're getting, we're getting to, like, bondage and, like, super gory. Look at the dude's ball sack hanging down. <laughs> Look at that ball sack. <laughs> and they're just split in half. 
we're talking Marilyn Manson 1995 stuff right there all right we're, here we go it's another one yep Victoria scene with the lights out how expansive can you go what do you mean I mean you can expand as far as you want really there's no limits like once you hit a limit of how expansive you can go you can just add another you can just make a gateway to another dream and just keep going you can just go infinite here's a fat zombie by typhus his guts are just hanging out of his belly and here's my favorite one the last one this is Demon of Wrath. Look at this guy. Isn't that Brad? But yeah, I created this whole level. And I just use Typhus's, uh, his models and possess them and recorded them walking down the aisle and then set them on the timeline and bada bing bada boom you guys want to see a music video if you guys got any friends that are in a band and they want to hire me tell them hey bro we could fucking make this dude make you this badass video dreams dude you can make music videos and make them fucking awesome like this one what's up what do you guys think There's a thermometer that shows how much space yep, you've used up. Yep, exactly. One scene can be 10, can, 10 kilometers cubed. I don't know that. Can you make a portal game on here? I've never got to play it. Yeah, there already is. Plat you don't have any friends? Come on. Yeah. Got your back. Yeah, there's already portal. Let's see if we can't uh, look for one here. Ooh, we leveled up. Cool. Portal kit demo. Next is portal concept. The portal. Minecraft portal. Let's try... Probably nothing like the actual game portal, though. It's kind of cool. Ooh, I like that. Whoa. Screenshot. That's a nice painting right there. Let's try another portal. Oh, same thing. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one. Oh, here we go. Working portal gun demo. Oh, Spy Acer. He's, he knows what's going on. Um, 
not sure. Oh, here's Portal. <laughs> this is actually the game here. I was trying to shoot both. Maybe I was I wasn't hitting the right button. It's probably you're probably right. Hello and again welcome to the Aperture Science Whoa. Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Serious Whoa. injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from <laughs> Nice. The portal will open in three, two, one. Well, probably answers your question. Hey, we did it. Continue. Oh, that was it. Uh, is it going to be online? And if so, how many? Um, yes, it will be online. And how many? At least four, but <laughs> they've been pretty uh, dark on the subject. They haven't really given us a whole lot of information. suck back up Ooh, we could do that <laughs> suck back up it sounds bad but you'll see what I'm talking about they'll pop out boom boom and then boom oh it's too slow All right, let's make it real quick then. That's fine. It is way too long. It's probably going to look bad. Yeah. Just make this centered here. Yeah. Little tweak here, little tweak there. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay, we'll increase that. Oh, 
I'll decrease that. Decrease that. There we go. Tomorrow I need to clean my room and set up VR. Yeah, I'm thinking of painting my wall green screen. That's a good idea. As long as nobody gets pissed at you. Spider's creation. Let's make that come in a little earlier. Try that again. Boom. Spider's creation. Sucks it all up. It's a little slow. Give it a rip. Need that text coming in earlier. Faster. Do. -do. Little tweak here, little tweak there. Thinking of painting my wall uh, tomorrow. Yeah, dude, get the, get that firewall going, man. It's gonna be good times. All right, this is it, mom. Um, one, two. Oh, that was a quick. Here we go. Come on. Not really. Is that too quick? Down, splash production, click, 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 click down, zoom up, make that quicker. Save. 
thinking the spider could kind of spring a little at the bottom. Bounce up and down. Yep. I agree. Bang. Let's see, if I were to do that, let's... I know what you mean, but right now, it's just... It's a lot of extra stuff for as simple as it is right now. So right now, it's just a keyframe, goes down, stops for a second, and then it goes back up. If you start adding, like, a little springiness... It's a whole new ball game. A spider's creation. And I'll have to add like a fade in and a fade out. I'll probably change, I'll probably extend it a little bit. I might have to. Try to get that rid of that center line too. Don't really like that. Hmm. But yeah, I think um, man, it's late. I gotta hit the hay. <laughs> so I think we'll just finish with. Um... Thanks for hanging out, platypus. Appreciate you, dude. Definitely uh, I'll give you a follow here once I'm done streaming. Um, I'm just going to finish with playing out this guitar tuner. Since that's how we started it, might as well finish it how we started. So uh, thanks for hanging out. It's Clever Trev. Dreams. Dream on.